It's not DHT. Blaming DHT is surface level thinking. DHT is dead save it. Insulin resistance and a toxic body are the main culprits. If you guys remember, I made that video talking about how rosemary oil can help with hair thinning. And this was a comment in response. Now look, it's a good comment and I get exactly where he's coming from. He's not really that wrong. Insulin resistance and inflammation play a massive role in hair health. That there is a solid point, but here's the thing. DHT does still matter. Rosemary oil improves circulation while blocking DHT binding too excessively to the hair follicle. DHT is the hormone responsible for beet growth. When it binds too aggressively to the scalp follicles, it can cause hair thinning over time. That's why you'll see a lot of guys notice their beads getting thicker and then their hair getting thinner. So yes, overall health does matter, but DHT sensitivity is still part of the equation. That's why it's always best to approach things with a holistic approach, your diet, your self-care routine, yada, yada, yada. But for that video, I was just speaking about a singular topic in the topic of hair thinning and hair loss. And if you watch all of our other self-care videos, we are always trying to provide information which is best in tune with self-care.